Welcome to the University of Illinois, and welcome to the Food and Agricultural Communications, The Next Frontier. It's the first of its kind International Agricultural Communications Symposium, and we're delighted that you're here. I'm Jan Slater. I'm Interim Dean of the College of Communication here. Well, used to be College of Communication, now it's College of Media. Many of you in this room knew it as the College of Communication here at Illinois. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you here today and to be part of this important symposium and a celebration of 50 years of agricultural communications at, at Illinois. Agricultural communications has always been a joint program here at Illinois between the College of what was the College of Communication and ACES. Just this past year, we solidified this relationship and we moved the AgCom major into the College of Media where students will be immersed in the theoretical and practical application of content, strategy, creation, and delivery. In addition, all AgCom students will have a minor in the College of ACES. We believe this will provide a very strong foundation to take the major into the next 50 years, ensuring growth while strengthening the future of the industry. To start our program off today, it is with great pleasure I introduce Senator Mike Ferrix. Senator Ferrix has served as a state senator for the 52nd District since 2007. He is a farm boy, raised in Gifford, Illinois, attending Rantoul Township High School. He serves as chairman of the Senate's Agriculture and Conservation Committee. He knows firsthand the important profession and industry that, that this profession and industry is in the state of Illinois. He also serves as vice chairman of the Higher Education Committee so he's very mindful of the needs of the University of Illinois. He is a great friend of the College of Media and the College of ACES. He comes to the College of Media and speaks to freshmen every year. And he is a great advocate for agriculture and education. We are very proud to have him today. Would you please welcome Senator Mike Ferrix. Thank you, Jan. It's my pleasure to be here today with a lot of you. I know you didn't come to hear speeches by politicians, but I want to say it was my great pleasure and honor last week to be able to pass a Senate resolution. In the Illinois Senate, I serve as the chairman of the Agriculture and Conservation Committee, and I like to think we play some role in helping out a large industry in the state of Illinois, agriculture. But I realize that really, it's the farmers, it's the industries, it's colleges like the College of ACES that do the real work. We just help facilitate some of that. We play a small part. And so last week, we played a very small part in acknowledging the role of agriculture and communications in the state of Illinois. So last week, we passed in the Senate, Senate Resolution 558. And if you don't mind, I'll read it to you. <laughs> Whereas in 1961, a new major in agricultural communications was formed within the general education curriculum at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Then in 1966, became a four-year curriculum. Through a joint agreement, the College of Journalism and Mass Communications provided a core of professional courses for agricultural communications students. And whereas, in the late 1960s, a new Agricultural Communications Industry Advisory Committee was formed. Members represented agricultural publications, broadcast stations, agricultural marketing firms, agricultural commodity and farmer organizations, and advertising and public relations firms that served agricultural clients. And whereas by the 1970s, a strategic plan for the academic program resulted in development of seven new agricultural communications courses, whereas the University of Illinois students collaborated with those from the University of Missouri and Iowa State University to lay the foundation for forming the National Agricultural Communications Communicators of Tomorrow Act, and whereas the 1980s, the agricultural communications program launched several major international initiatives through a new program for agricultural communications education, PACE, University of Illinois personnel worked with colleagues at universities in Indonesia, the Philippines, Australia, Pakistan, and the West Indies to plan and strengthen academic programs in this field of interest. And whereas agricultural communications faculty members helped form a new interdisciplinary international program for agricultural knowledge systems, Interpacs, with the College of Agriculture, and whereas, in the 1990s, academic progress and faculty members in agricultural communications, agricultural education, and extension education became part of a new department of human community development in a restructured college of agricultural consumer and environmental sciences. 
And whereas in the, 19, in the early 2000s, there was an erosion of agricultural communications faculty and staff positions due to budget squeezes, unfortunate timing, programmatic decisions, and organizational restructuring, but at the same time, enrollment in the curriculum remains strong. There's a lot of whereases because you've done a lot of good things. <laughs> whereas in 2007, Members analyzed future needs and confirmed the growing importance of the academic program and agricultural communications at the University of Illinois. Their report served as a foundation for a memorandum of understanding. And whereas a core of three agricultural communications faculty members would include a new endowed chair to be established through external funding and to provide sustained leadership for the program. Whereas in the late 2000s, a new joint college agricultural communications program committee was established and began efforts for transition. A joint committee of faculty members developed a strategic vision for the program, six dimensions for a center for excellence in agricultural communications at the University of Illinois. And whereas, during 2010, the Illinois Board of Higher Education approved the Bachelor of Science degree in agricultural communications and formalized the new dual academic program. Also, a joint committee of the two colleges developed a governing document based on the memorandum of understanding which outlined the mission, governing powers, administrative and academic structure, and, provi and provisions for changes to the agricultural communications program. Only two more whereases. <laughs> Whereas enrollment in the agricultural communications curriculum continued the early 2010s and was at a 50 plus students with excellent talents and strong professional interest, the Illini chapter of agricultural communicators of a tomorrow experienced growth and increased service to members through enhanced student involvement and effective advisor support. And whereas by 2011, the Agricultural Communications Documentation Center was expanding research resources and mission with resources in the center, passing the 37,000 document mark. Documents in this unique collection involved agriculture-related communications in more than 170 countries. Therefore, be it resolved by the Senate of the 97th General Assembly of the State of Illinois that we designate February 17, 2012, as Agricultural Communications Day in the state of Illinois, adopted by the Senate February 9th, 2012. So, so I admit that was a lot of whereases, but you've accomplished an awful lot. And I've spoken probably more than I needed to this morning already. But it's because of the great work you've done here at this university in the College of Communications and the College of ACES that I'm proud to sponsor this resolution. Now, I will let you get on to some of the more important work the state of Illinois does, like this, this conference. And I want to thank you for all the people in this room have done to promote agriculture and communications in the state of Illinois. It truly is our strongest and largest industry in the state. And it is a great pleasure that I present this resolution to you today. Thank you.